Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on guys, it is Sunday and it's around 4.30 and I'm going to start dinner. So this is obviously a what's for dinner. Um, yeah, so tonight I'm making chicken cutlet parmesan. Now, I'm doing something a little bit different. I usually make like a marinara with, um, and you know, we have pasta with it or whatever. Um, but I had, I was going to make a marinara, but I had um, chopped meat gravy in the refrigerator from a couple of days ago that I remembered that I had. Yes, it's chopped meat gravy, and I normally don't put that over chicken parm because it has meat in it also. But I had a craving for chicken parm, and I wanted to make that. And I think it's stupid to kind of make another gravy. So I added some more tomato sauce to the pot of chopped meat gravy, and we're just going to utilize that. So that's what we're going to have. We're having chicken parm with, with um, well, he'll have, um, they'll have pasta. I'll make some spaghetti for them. And I'm going to make um, some spiral um, zucchini and squash that I have in the freezer that I got at Sam's the other day. I'm going to have that with it. But, um, yeah, so it's going to be a chopped meat gravy over the chicken parm. Big deal. It's still gravy. It's still sauce, whatever you want to call it. So that's, so that's what we're going to have. So what I did was I had, um, I, had bought the fr I bought a big package of the fresh um, chicken cutlets at Sam's. I put those in the freezer. And the other day when I was at Walmart, I bought the big bag of the frozen chicken breasts in the bag. I like those once in a while because they're just easier to to manipulate sometimes and I don't know I just I like them so I, I took those out this morning because I knew I was going to make this and they defrosted in the sink and I have those here now and I'm going to start breading them um, I'm going to see if they need to be cut I'm not sure if they need to be cut a few of them might need to be let me put you down a little bit a few of them are a little bit thick so I might cut them down the middle yeah this one I'm definitely going to cut down the middle because that's really really thick so yeah guys, so it's been a, a weird couple of, not a weird couple of days, but a little bit of an emotional couple of days. Um, my brother and his wife and kids are moving to, uh, moving out of state. And so yesterday they had a little like um, sh little party to get together and you know, to say goodbye and, and all of that. And uh, so it was a little, you know, I was a little, I've been a little, well, I don't know, emotional the last couple of days. Um, so we did that. We had a good time. We had a really good time. And we said goodbye. And we, you know, saw them for the last time. They'll, not for the last time forever. I mean, they'll be back. And, you know, we'll visit them. They live, they, they're moving to, North, uh, to South Carolina. So, yeah, so that's, um, that happened. And then today, Julie is actually on a plane right now going to Wisconsin to see her friend. Because she, they're going to a concert, um, uh, a music concert in, in, her, in her state. And so Julie's flying down there now um, to go and you know to that concert this this week, but she's on the airplane right now, which I'm a little nervous about. But she'll be fine. I know she'll be fine. Just that I'm not crazy about airplanes myself. So yeah, so that's okay. Okay, so this I have one piece of cheese. I'm one piece of cheese. I have one piece of chicken here. One piece of cheese. This one's a little thick in the middle, so I am definitely going to cut this one down the middle a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to take the chicken. And not, that, not that it's different, but I'm not dipping it in eggs or anything this time because I just want to save on the calories. So I just have water in the in the bowl here, and that's what I'm going to moist them with, you know, to, to bread them. Oh, so wait. I forgot something. I'm going to put half, half breadcrumbs and half grated, not half grated cheese, but... A nice amount of grated cheese because I don't want to use an enormous amount of breadcrumbs because of the carb situation. So I have those. But it, in reality, it only be very little, guys, because um, it'll only be a little amount because, you know, I'm not going to have the whole thing. So, yeah. So, all right. So we'll put about a half a cup of grated cheese in there. Careful with your hands when you're playing with chicken. All right, so I'm gonna mix, give this a mix. Yeah. Okay. I'm 
to put a little again in the water because it got a little bit dry. Plenty of moisture though. So guys, comment down below what you guys are having for dinner tonight. Tomorrow is Monday, it'll be Memorial Day. We're not doing anything special, just hanging out. I'm gonna go to the to the farm over here tomorrow morning, get some corn, and we'll probably just have a little barbecues, you know, hamburgers, hot dogs, stuff, stuff like that. Nothing major. It's only gonna be us. Um, Julie is away until Wednesday. My son will be in and out. He's working, and then. Um, Julie's boyfriend will be back on um, Monday, tomorrow, because he, they went to, um, they went to his house, his family's house for his birthday, and then uh, Julie left from there to go to the airport today, so, yeah, so, um, it's only me, Jenny, and Bill, basically, and Frankie will be home later, and he'll, he'll have chicken parm tonight, too, so, yeah, so I didn't, I didn't video yesterday, guys, because um, we were at the party, and I don't know, it just didn't seem appropriate, or I just didn't, like, feel like picking up the camera. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm videoing today. Uh, you know, you get into little ruts here and there. I have a lot planned. Oh, guys, and also I wanted to tell you is change of plans. Um, September, 20, September 24th, I was going to do that collab with the end of the summer salads, but I'm canceling that. I'm not gonna be doing that open collab, guys. I'm sorry if I told anybody I'm canceling that now because I forgot that I'm doing Fall Food Fridays with um, Fallon from Moss Family Tube TV. She's hosting a Fall Food Fridays, and we're doing four Fridays. We're doing um, September 17th, September 24th, October 1st, and October 8th. So um, that's an open collab. So if anybody wants to do it, you just go on. You, you After she posts her video on that first Friday or, and whenever she does it on those Fridays, you go on and you say, Fallon, I put my video up and she'll post your video on her uh, playlist. So it's any fall food. You could do breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, dessert, whatever you want to do. Okay, guys? So that's starting, um, that's starting September 17th, the 24th. The first and the eighth. All right, so that's what I'm doing. Um, the salad one, I'm, I'm postponing to another time. Soon I'll do that one, but yeah. So I just wanted you guys to know that. So I'm excited about that. Fall foods. Getting my stuff together now. Thinking about what I'm going to make. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people do it. Um, we do. She, she hosts it every year. And um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. We get a lot of good recipes, um, you know, for the fall and winter. Um, from everybody, so it's a lot of fun. So go check it out, guys. I'm trying to think of how many chicken I'm gonna make because I have this three. I'm just trying to think. Um, how many to make? We always like chicken parm left over. That was so good, so yummy. And I wanted to also say, Linda Flanagan, thank you so much for um, sending that to my PO box. And she also sent me a couple of weeks ago, I got, um, she's, I forgot to mention this, I'm so sorry. She sent me um, this keto chow. It's a, it's a, it's a um, protein shake that you eat like in between meals. It's very helpful, so she sent me that. And she also told me she sent me something the other day that I, I was supposed to pick up yesterday, but I just couldn't get to the post office. So because of the holiday, I'll get there Tuesday. But thank you, Linda. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know, hon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, if anybody wants to, it's, it, um, on my about, I have um, a P.O. box. It's um, If anybody's interested in uh, whoever asked, people had asked me for if I had a P.O. box. So I got one. So it's on my about if you're interested um, in knowing it, if you want it. So, yeah. So thank you, Linda. I'm so excited to, to get it. I love surprises. It's so much fun. Yeah, so, guys, I'm telling you, it's never ending. You know, I've been trying to get approved for this Dexton thing. 
Now, what it is, it's the it's a it's a little monitor that um, is like is like the pod, but it's just different. And it goes on your it goes on your arm or your leg or whatever you want, wherever you want. It. Well, probably your, your arm is the easiest. And what it does is, instead of me pricking my finger to find out what my sugar level is, I just take I just take my phone and I do this, and it automatically scans and it comes on. And this way, I don't have to prick myself, which is so hurt. It really hurts, guys. I mean, you know, after a while, it really gets to you. But anyway, so um, it took me a while to get approved for that. My insurance company keep, kept denying it, and my doctor kept fighting for it. And she finally got it for me, thank God. So we got that. But then I get, a, then I get, then I realize that um, I went to, I go to pick up my pods, these things that I use to, in, to get the insulin in me without having to give myself a shot. My insurance no longer covers it. Yeah. And they want me to, and, and it's five hundred, almost $500 for 10 pods, guys, for, um, for, and that's like a week's worth of pods, not even. So I, it's, un, it's unaffordable. So um, we're waiting for my doctor to see what she can do, if they can get it, you know, turned over, to see if I can get it um, turned, you know, if I can get the, the, the decision turned over. In the meantime, I'm going to be getting a couple in the mail from, um, from the lady that does the uh, Omnipods, who helps me with it, you know, set it up and all that. She has a few in her office, so she's going to be sending me them. So she put them in the mail late, so I didn't get them yet. I'm not going to get them till Tuesday because of the holiday Monday, and I'm running short. So I'm probably going to have to use the, 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 the pen needles that I have inside the refrigerator from when I used them the last time. They're still good. So I'll probably have to substitute with those just until I get my other pods in the mail. But she's only giving me three or four, so that's not going to last me long either. So I just don't get it. I mean, I don't understand why in, how an insurance company would... Which would not cover something that you need. Oh, and you know what it is, guys? I they they told me that it's just New York State. New York State, um, New York State decided that they weren't going to cover anybody over eighteen for insulin for these things anymore. Just New York State. As of July first, they they dropped it. I mean, what? Because you're over eighteen, you don't need you don't need insulin pods. I mean, it's just ridiculous, guys. It really is. You're really just fighting just fighting against the system, and it's just crazy. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. That's what I'm worried about now. Hopefully, um, hopefully she'll get it turned over. If not, then I'll have to go back to the pens. But, you know, it's like one good thing, and then there's another, it's supposed to be another good thing, and then, and, then another, yeah, and then you get good news, and then something else bad, and then something bad happens. <laughs> it's just uh, I don't know. So, you know, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world if I have to go back to the pens just that it's stabbing myself again. But at least I won't have to stab myself in my, in my finger anymore. So I guess it'll, it'll just be like one again, you know, stabbing myself one time. So, yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's my story, guys. It's never ending. Never. Okay, so I don't know how much more I'm going to do. Let's see. They're going to cut this one down in the middle, too. We've got a new knife set, guys. I'll show you. In a few minutes, I'll show you. These are the new knives here. Really nice. So comment down below what you guys are doing this this Memorial Day. If you guys are having a barbecue, you're still seeing family, you, you know, doing anything special. Like I said, we're just going to hang out at home and have a little queue here. And that's it. So... I think this is what I'm going to make from right from now, and I'll see if, um, if I need any more. But I think this is probably sufficient.
put this here. I'm going to go wash my hands because my hands are all full of poultry. You know how that goes, guys. All right, guys. So here's our new knife set. Let me move this. Really, really nice. We have a scissor with it. That's in the sink. But yeah, it's like silver. The other one was just... We, I still kept the knives from the other one, but the other case was just kind of cra crappy and just getting old and just time to go. So, yeah, so we got this off of Amazon. Nice, right? Seems to cut good. So, yeah. So, here's the gravy. Okay. So, that saved me a lot of work. So, um, we might as well utilize that. I have the pan here heating up with oil. I actually didn't have any vegetable oil. I had canola oil. So I had to use canola oil tonight, which I rarely use for frying, but um, I bought it the last time I was at Ollie. They didn't have vegetable oil, so I bought that. So yeah, so that's, that's fine. I don't fry very often at all. Um, here are the two cans of tomatoes that I was, was going to use, but I will put in the um, back in the cabinet. And um, I think I showed you guys these when I was at Sam, when I did my haul a couple days ago, but I got these big things from Sam's. I got the onion powder, I got the, the bouillon, the bouillon, I like to have that in the in the cabinet for the holidays and everything. It's just always good to have because you never have to worry about it going bad if you need some chicken broth and you forgot to pick it up. Um, you know, I like to have that. So I got my big thing of parsley. Um, this I had in here, the taco mix that I have. I love that. I got, um, I got this garlic here. This is what my son had bought by accident a couple of months ago. It's the fine garlic, which is very, very fine. I'm not crazy about that one. The other one is granulated, which I like better, which is this one. The granulated is a lot better. But, you know, I'll use it. So I use it because I have it. So I'm not going to not use it. So, yeah, so here's the pan. I'm going to put the chicken in. So I'm just waiting for that oil to heat up, and then I'm going to put some of the chicken in the pan. All right, guys, here's the chicken starting to fry up. I just got a text from Julie that she got, she landed, and she's safe, and that's all I'm so, that's all I care about right now. Very happy. My mind's at ease now. Ah, I can breathe again. All right, guys, you know when you have kids, it's never, even when they get older, it's never ending. I actually think it's worse. Like, I think it's worse when they were older because you, not that it's worse, but it still goes on even when they're older. You don't. Stop worrying because they're 25, you know? You just worry about different things, bigger things. <sighs> telling you. What are you going to do? Yeah, so um, I want to give you a little update on the di on the, um, the low-carb Weight Watcher situation. I'm definitely sticking still to Weight Watchers. I'm not being so strict. That's a big, you know... That's the thing right now. Uh, I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying not to focus so much on that, even though my goal is to lose the weight, obviously. I'm focusing on the low carb, and the last three or four days, I've been off a little bit. My, my, I've been, um, not that I've been, <sighs> trying to think. You know what it is? I'm not really, how should I put this? Um, I'm not overeating carbs or anything like that, but I'm over, I, I think I'm having a little bit too much of the good carbs that I'm allowed to have. Like, instead of having like a half a cup of, of cashews, I'm having a cup, you know, and stuff like that. So my sugars are going, my sugars are raising a little bit, but I'm trying to, to rein that in and get back on track as far as that goes, because I noticed they're a little bit higher than they were, um, last week. So I'm trying to re reevaluate and just get like start from fresh again guys that's what i have to do every couple of weeks i have to start fresh again because it's just really really difficult and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna quote candy coat it and say that i'm doing perfect because i'm not it's not a perfect science i can do terrific one week and the next week i'm like i'm so hungry i eat everything in sight you know and i and i and i overeat the stuff that i that i'm allowed to have which is not good for me either because it still raises your carbs if you're having too much of that one thing um, so I'm trying to reel that, reel that in again, like the, and you fish, reel it in. That's not so easy, guys. So yeah, so that's the update. Um, I'm still, like I said, I'm still on Weight Watchers, counting my points, but, um, you know, not so strict. That's how I'm going to put it. Let me go check that chicken. 
So some of it is done, guys. See, it's getting brown. Those are done. Those two are going to be done any minute, and I'll put the other two in. I think we're going to make, like, two more. I'm going to bread, like, two more. Um, yeah, because I like to have a little extra of this, so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so I think I changed my mind, guys. Instead of me having these spiral um, zucchinis and squashes like, like spaghetti, I'm not going to have that at all. I'm going to have, I'm making Jenny some um, fettuccine, sh um, shrimp fettuccine since I have, I'm going to be making the, the pasta anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute some extra shrimp and I'm going to have a little shrimp with a little gravy and a little um, mozzarella on it, like I like the shrimp parmesan too. So I'm going to have shrimp and the chicken and that's going to be my dinner. No pasta, no carbs to me. So yeah. So um, the chicken's almost done. I got a couple more pieces to fry up. And then um, I'm gonna get the pots on this, uh, the pot on the stove for the water. And then I have to get um, the shrimp up here. I have to have my heavy go down and get it because it's in the freezer downstairs. All right, guys. So I have the chicken now. I put gravy in the bottom of the pan here. I'm gonna put the chicken in. Chicken's all done. The pot of water is up for the spaghetti. Did I tell you, I told you Julie landed, right? She's in, she's with her friend, everything is good, so. I'm glad. These aren't very big pieces of chicken. They really aren't. Just another day. I got that song in my head. Mandy from Barry Manilow. Love that song. <coughs> All right, guys. So we got the bag of shrimp open here. I'm pouring some in this plate here that I'm going to put into the pan with a little um, olive oil, <laughs> garlic, and... Um, some of my butter, and I like to have extra shrimp on hand because it's just good for everything. Okay, we can just put it right in the bag like this. This is shrimp from um, Sam's, guys. Three, I think it's a three-pound bag. It's like, what was it, like $17? Something like that? I think it was like that, yeah. So I'm going to go put this in the pan. I have a little olive oil in there ready. The chicken is um, all ready to go into the oven. I'm going to put the oven on now. And the spaghetti's um, going to go in the pot soon. We're going to eat probably about 15, 20 minutes. All right, guys, the cheese is on. I put the cheese all over the chicken, see? I have the oven heating up now. It's going to um, go off in about five, about three minutes. And then I'll put this in the oven. This will cook about 10, 12 minutes. In the meantime, the shrimp is in the pan. I'm going to bring you over there and show you. And the water is boiling, almost boiling for the spaghetti. All right, so I'm just waiting for the oven to heat up. All right, guys, so the pasta water is almost done. I just put the chicken in the oven, like that should be about 15 minutes. And by that time, I'm gonna, the pasta will be done and we're gonna eat. The shrimp look yummy. Let me take you over there and show you guys. Let's go over. Here's the shrimp. Just sauteing a little bit of the butter and some garlic and a little bit of olive oil with parsley, uh, salt and pepper garlic powder. And yeah, and the water's boiling. I'm just waiting like two more minutes to put it in so it's not done way, way, way before the chicken. And um, that's what I'm gonna do. Shrimp looks so yummy. I just put garlic in it. Let me bring you over here. I just put some save the minced garlic. And I'm gonna let this cook a little bit, like another two minutes, and I'm gonna shut it off because otherwise shrimp will overcook. And I do not wanna waste these yummy shrimp. Good dinner tonight, guys. So I'm gonna wait another minute before I put the pasta in because the pasta is only gonna take about 12 minutes and the chicken should be done at that time. So listen, 
I want to do, I want to give a shout out to my brother-in-law Vinny and my nephew Joey. Hi guys, so glad you always watch me. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you're doing well, Vin. I miss you. I haven't seen you in so long. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I love you, Joe. That's it. <laughs> I saw them. I saw my nephew yesterday, and he told me that him and his dad always watch me on, on YouTube and everything. They always watch my videos. So I had to give a shout-out to my nephew and my brother-in-law, Vinny. So, hi, guys. So that's it. So now I'm just going to wait for everything to get done. And, um... That's it, guys. How's your weather where you are? The weather here is kind of crappy today. Yesterday, yesterday was a beautiful day. God, it was, must have been like in the height. I think it was, what, in the 80s yesterday? What? The weather yesterday was like in the 80s, yeah, but there was no humidity. It was gorgeous. The, the sky was as blue as, I don't know, you can't even tell you, and the, the breeze. It was just beautiful yesterday. It was a perfect day to spend, you know, time outside with my brother and everything like that, so... It was a lot of fun. We had a good time. But yeah, the weather was nice. But today is crappy. Today it's on and off raining all day. So we've been keeping Bro uh, Cooper and Brody out in and out a lot. Because let me tell you something. You guys know. I told you when Cooper doesn't get the, 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 the exercise. Cooper's getting the exercise around the house. Oh, he's crazy, man. He really is. When is he going to calm down? Listen, if you guys have dogs and you know about dogs, let me know. When do they calm down? Because he's going to be two. I think it... Yeah, he's going to be two either in October or November. I think it's October. And um, he's really, I mean, he has calmed down a lot. He really has. But he's still crazy, guys. So comment down below if you guys know when when dogs calm down. Because I'm waiting for him to calm down. So, yeah. We had, a, we had uh, Sophie was such a, uh, Sophie was never a crazy lunatic. She was active when she was a puppy and stuff. But she was like such a gem. She was, he's good too, Cooper. He's good, too, but he just, you know, he's crazy, as you can hear him barking. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you something. So I just put the last of the, the garlic inside the, um, in the, the rest of the, you know, in, with the shrimp. And so um, I wanted to show you. Is this right here. Mm, there's, you know, leftover garlic in here. So I'm going to save this and put it in the fridge because I'm gonna make use of this one day when I need something like, um, to, when I need to season something, like with a little water or oil or something, put it in here and shake this up and get all the rest of the garlic out because I'm not wasting this. Look at that. Right, guys, that's a lot of garlic. So I'm not wasting it, so I'm gonna keep it because this is always good for flavor. So guys, do that with your little jars, with your, you know, use it. Use it up. Use every little bit of it because you pay for it and it's expensive. And get all your money's worth. He's over there stealing shrimp. Excuse me? Stealing? What are you doing? Stealing? Well, you can at least tell me how it is. It's good. I'm taking another one, aren't I? <laughs> Cover it back up. I'm into doing He's the food steal. This is what he does. He'll, he'll come in and say, is the chicken done? Is the shrimp done? Are the meatballs done? Just so you know, guys, he's behind the camera making all kinds of funny faces and doing some funny-looking stuff because he's trying to get me to laugh, but it ain't work. I should turn the camera on him quick. <laughs> he just mooned me, guys. Yeah, That's on. gross. <laughs> put put the camera on. I'll, get, I'll get kicked off of YouTube. Three strikes and you're out. <laughs> I'm gonna go you check. Need to get a spray for me. You're right yeah, I'm gonna go check the food, guys. I'll be right back. Here are my roses, guys, that my hubby got me. They're getting on their way. They're going almost out, but they're still beautiful. I love them. I want to keep them till I can. Some of them are better than others. There are a couple that are kind of, you know, can I say, dying or dead? Ooh, ooh. Trying to get. Yeah, this one over here. But the others are pretty good. So beautiful. I just love roses. I love roses to begin with, but yellow is my favorite color, first of all. Just love yellow. Got a whole bunch of little bananas there. I bought them for my son for... Um, I was thinking about making these banana pancakes. Um, but then I thought to myself, bananas, you know, it's good for like a Weight Watchers meal. But bananas are very high in carbs. So I got to be careful with bananas. So... 
we got to do something with those. I fair. I have to start making sure people start eating them. Otherwise, I'm going to have to stick them in the freezer or something because I don't want them to go bad. Or I can make banana bread. Maybe I'll make a low-carb banana bread and make a low-carb um, and make a regular banana bread or just make a low-carb. Um, yeah. So um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so I'm really excited for the Fall Food Friday guy, Fridays, guys. That's hosted by Fallon from Moss Family TV. It's going to be so much fun. I have a couple of ideas what I'm going to make on the 17th. I'm not really sure. I might be making this fall stew, maybe. Um, definitely a meal. I don't think I'm making a dessert or anything. Um, but I'm going to, or a side or something like that. And I might, I don't know about the first one. The first one, I might just do a regular dish. And then the, and the second one, I might do a low carb. I'm definitely going to have some low carbs in there. I might even have an alternative. Maybe I'll make the real and the low carb. I'll see how difficult the, the, um, the recipes are because I don't want to overwhelm myself. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm working on some other collabs now that I'm going to be doing. Um, there's, I have another one this, I have another one this, this month. Oh yes, the 20, I forget. I got, I got to look at my sheet with all, with all the stuff on it. I have it all, I have, I have it all written down. So let me check that out, you know, before I let you know. All right, so everything's just about done. We're going to eat in five minutes. All right, guys, so I, I mixed up Jenny's um, Alfredo sauce. What I did was I just put sour cream, a couple pieces of butter. Um, I didn't put any heavy cream in it this time. I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, I put in grated cheese, some parsley, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and it's all ready. The consist this is the consistency that I like it to be. And if it was thicker, I'd put a little heavy cream or a little milk in it, but I don't need to. It's all good. And the butter, I, I put it in the microwave for a couple of like 30 seconds just to loosen it up a little bit. But when, when the, uh, when the um, hot pasta hits it, it's going to, you know, heat it up and loosen it up a little bit. So, yeah, so there it is. So delicious. Quick Alfredo sauce. Mmm. Mm, it smells yummy. It smells yummy. So, guys, we're going to eat. I'm going to get the chicken out now. The pasta's done, we're gonna eat. So guys, I put shrimp in a bowl for Jen. I'm gonna just cut them a little bit because they're too big for her. And um, this way she gets a lot of shrimp in every bite. That's how you make things stretch, guys. If you're raising a family and you wanna get a little bit more out of your shrimp, cut it. These are large, so they can afford to be cut a little bit. So she has shrimp going on, going all through the meal. There we go, see? I'm gonna put it into the sour cream. The pasta's done, I'm gonna go over there, put the pasta in now. And this bowl she's gonna use for when she eats. And that's it. I'm gonna go get my plate. All right, guys, so here it is. Oops, got a little battery. Better end this quick. This is my dinner, guys, chicken parm and the shrimp. Look at that shrimp. Look at that juice with the garlic and the oil and the butter. Woo! So good, guys. This is my dinner for tonight. So, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to catch those collabs starting September 17th. Hit that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, guys, if you like this video. See you on the next one. Bye, guys. Hi, Vin. Hi, Joe. Bye.